So when two musical languages meet, when they, when they go together, sometimes they clash, sometimes they go, ah, but these just like to slip into each other, it seems. Yes, it's because uh, I think we have uh, our proper music each and traditional music each. And when we speak about music, we, sp we speak the same language. We don't speak about uh, something uh, spiritual or uh, technical, but we speak <laughs> only about music. So when we, we, we play together, we play a new music. But was it as easy as it seems? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, because uh, when we, w we were in Bamako for um, meeting them, uh, they prepared um, some tunes, uh, songs, uh, half prepared in trio, and uh, we we are quartet really stabi stabilized, and we we saw them and they give them give us uh, our, their music, and well, we go in and all <laughs> smiling, so it's really quick. Big smiles everywhere. So most people in Europe, they have listened at one time or another to African music. Did they ever listen to music from Brittany before? No, they were not imagining there was uh, traditional music uh, in Occident. For them, there is traditional music in, in their country, but what they hear from uh, Europe is uh, Occidental music, uh, like classical, uh, Anglo-Saxon variety uh, uh, pop music and all that, but they don't. For them, it, it, they say, "Wow, well, it was strange. What is this music?" You know. But I also I hear in your music, for instance, the way the double bass is played. It's almost African, or even some Cuban elements are there. Yes. A anyway, we have to adapt uh, the rhythm because the, the big uh, thing in Malian music is poly uh, polyrhythm, and so we like rhythm also. But uh, with the double bass, they ha uh, she has to to be really with the guni to take the big uh, big rhythm. Uh, yeah, that's it. So is it difficult for you to get the feeling of this polyrhythmic? No, not difficult, but uh, we have to... We don't know what is the first uh, time, you know, step. When they don't know even... He, uh, Kasim and Alassane are not sure it's the same, you know. <laughs> when it begins, it's, it, it's beginning, but... You cannot say one, two, three, four, and no, four. no. But in, in your music, it's like that. No, in our music, we we know that uh, we we can count, you know. But we manage to to to, to have the good. Um, and I don't the accent. The accent is important in our music also. So we we have the, the, the same accent. So do you learn from them? Of course. <laughs> of course, we have learned uh, because uh, well, I never played before with African musician because it's first time. But I've played with a lot of uh, musicians from uh, East East uh, Balkan or that, and also Irish music. And uh, but it was the first time. It was uh, we we wanted to do that, and uh, it's quite a good uh, good uh, meeting. And what's the main, what is the challenge for in African music? What's the most difficult aspect? For African music, I don't know, but... Uh, for you? For me? Well, I, I don't know, there is no difficult aspect. I think uh, pentatonic mode is like... Uh, we have a lot of songs in Brittany, in pentatonic, so it's easy for us. The rhythm, sometimes, we have a uh, rhythm uh, like uh, in Britain, uh, we have five sometimes, they don't know that. So it's difficult to, to play uh, music uh, with uh, an impair, you know, five, nine, seven rhythm. You cannot play that at the moment. But, well, it, well it's, it's a good, the good thing is when we play a Britain tune, the, the accompaniment is the best we have, we have never had, you know. So you are going to play another piece.